I don't think we need a break, right, guys? <laughs> Discussion and possible action on signage request for petitioner Matthew Wagner doing business as signs and lines by stretch for the property located at West 234 South 3555 Les, Park, Les Paul Parkway, tax key WAKT 135007 for approval to update the existing double-sided freestanding sign on the property for the Catholic Memorial Sullivan Campus. Uh, Mr. Malarkey? Uh, yeah, so on the overhead you can see here's um, what used to be called Infinity Fields um, on the previous owner. There's a freestanding sign that's close to the right-of-way. Um, out front, that's they're looking to change the copy on that sign. Um, it's 182 square feet per side. Um, it, it, it has an existing electronic message center and EMC sign. It's kind of a one, a single color sign. They're looking to put a full color sign on each side. Um, the way our ordinance works is the village board essentially determines whether or not a public hearing is required for that electronic message center sign. Uh, in this case, it already has an EMC out there. It's just going from a single color to a full color. So that's certainly up to you to determine whether or not there's a public hearing needed. If that is the case, then we have to adjourn this to, a, to another meeting date. Um, it meets all the requirements of the ordinance. Um, I added some conditions to the, um, to the approval, as we've done with other electronic message center signs, to ensure it's not a nuisance. Um, and, and those conditions are essentially that it can't be animated, flashing, scrolling, or revolving, that it has a maximum number of four lines of text with um, characters measuring at least five inches or greater in height so it's not difficult to read, um, maximum of three, measurement, or three messages, advertisements per day. Um, they have to be displayed for a minimum of 10 seconds each. Uh, temperature and time is excluded from that. Um, limited to marketing identification and operation of the subject use and then it also needs to comply with all Wisconsin statutes um, regarding regulation of outdoor advertising if more restricted um, than the villages because it is on a state highway and so there are certain restrictions. I, I think most of those um, things I just mentioned cover the basis for those but if in doubt um, they, they also need to refer to the state statute. So. There's a list of standard conditions here, including those. Um, that's all I have. Sean, is that the sign that's currently up? It is. Okay. <laughs> Just wanted to make sure that, that, that they're changing it again. So, Mr. President, um, I, I will say that I'm almost inclined to table this and have the petitioner appear before us. Um, frankly, I was surprised when I noticed a sign a few weeks ago um, I know we hadn't addressed that before the board, and frankly, there's not even a representative from the petitioner here tonight to explain why. On top of that, um, I've seen a, there is a, a proliferation of signs that we don't have permits for that I'll be submitting in a report shortly. So I, the sign looks great, I have to say that, but we need to do things the right way, and uh, signs in particular you see them cropping up all over the place. So I am concerned about that. Okay. There's, is there a second to? There was an emotion. Pardon me? There was an emotion. I just wanted to float oh, that I out that right. to let people table, know. You're, you're not making a motion. You're not making a motion to table. I, I'm right there. And, and so, I don't know if anybody else has similar thoughts along okay. that line, but. Sean, so I just want to just get a little, a little background on this one in particular. Um, when the application came in, I wasn't aware the sign was up either. Um, we learned that the sign was up in the process of reviewing the application. The petitioner stated that they weren't aware of this, the copy replacement, so on required the replacement, or uh, coming from the board, I said, yes, it does. And so, um, you know, we brought them in as soon as we possibly could. Um, this has happened a number of times before when we've seen signs and caught them and they've came, J JD by Ryder was, was one of those. Um, I, I don't disagree. There's probably numerous signs out there that never got Permits and unless someone complains or, or brings us forward, we just you know we don't know about those. I guess my feeling is I, I it's already up, and I know what you're saying, Mike. But I, I don't know what tabling it. What's going to change if we table it or postpone it? I mean, it's, it's the sign is the existing one was there before, and it's not changing anything that was there except the name on it. So I, I don't know I, what can be you know what what progress can be made by postponing it for another month i agree i just uh i don't like being in the position and 
you know, village board are putting the building inspector um, in a position to play cops and robbers, you know, with people. I, I get where, that. Where you're, people, you're right. you know, would rather beg forgiveness and ask permission. I know. I'm, I'm, that puts I'm the onus on us. Um, and if, if I understood you correctly, they do have to pay a double assessment. Is that correct? That's, so there is some, yes. some penalty there? Yes. It's just like a building permit. So. If they come in with a late building permit, don't apply for one and get for lack of a better word, caught at it. Yeah, yeah. they that's fine. Their cost is doubled, so that's been pertained to the sign permit okay. also. So I'd I'd be comfortable moving to accept. I got another question first. Yep, sure. Um, I don't know if you can answer it, Sean, or not. But if if you remember, I thought when they came to the board with their plan of operation, it was going to be the existing plan of operation that was there until such thing as they changed the name. Correct and got the proper owner on it. And then they had to come back with a plan of use, and they haven't come back with one yet, as far as I know. So the, 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 the approval for the site plan plan of operation was for them to use it exactly as was used before, with this, the same plan of operation. So that was approved to operate on the same plan of operation. We do have the name, obviously, it's Catholic Memorial Athletics LLC. That's on their site plan plan of operation. That's on their conditional use with um, the cell tower and so on and so forth. They are coming back soon on a change of plan of operation. They're gonna they're looking to change some of the facilities and move some things around. So they are coming back for that. But as of now, they're supposed to be operating under their, the existing plan of operation, same as it's always been. Signage, you know, obviously reflects the new ownership and so on and so forth. But they they shouldn't be doing anything that wasn't done previously on the property. Okay. Yeah, I was gonna say. I mean put a hold on the sign but it's kind of hard when it's already up and done yeah. so yeah I don't, I don't see any I guess we don't have a choice Sean I, the you had conditions as far as uh, sizing and things so since it's already up is it already meeting all of those requirements or are they gonna have to modify things to be no it meets the requirements and they're not changing the parameters of the box of the sign anyhow but yeah it meets the requirements of the ordinance okay. one way or the other the only you know the only the only thing here that's um, you know, for debate is the electronic message sign and whether that requires a public hearing, but there already w is one there, so that might, you know, that might um, sway your decision on that. Mr. President, I'll move to accept the sign application as submitted. Okay. I'll second it. All those in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Carries. Um,